Hi, I'm Ken Lott. I'm a friend of Michelle, and we've known each other for a long time now since school. And um, when she first told me that she was engaged, I was really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> me too! <laughs> yeah, Michelle's getting married. I don't think she'd do that. Um, <laughs> and then I thought, oh, you know what? She's probably run out of space to put any more tattoos. She needs a fresh body. <laughs> From the perspective of Michelle about James, or from the perspective of James about Michelle, it's just a poem. There's a patchwork quilt I've been working on for a while. I've collected a lot of scraps, swatches, samples, some are from near here, some from far. Some match, others really stick out. I stitched them together and I like what became of that. My patches, though, they weren't enough to make the quilt I wanted. Then you came along. And I admired your patchwork, even though I didn't always understand the pattern. You used a different stitch, unlike the ones I've known. A pretty stitch. A tricky stitch. How I wish to learn it. Then one day you taught me. I remember it well, the day we fell in love. With the same strip of cloth. And what could we do to share that fabric but use it to join together my patches and yours? You taught me your stitch. I taught you mine. It was a good day, though. Now we hear a new day. The thread we used then we left loose. Today we tie the knot and trust that knot to hold to keep our married scraps as one. From now on we'll reinforce the bed spread we've made ours. We'll make it flush, we'll make it soft, the comfort and the strength. Let's add one feather at a time. Find each feather together. For a while now, I've wondered which feathers you'll like, which feathers I'll like with you there to show them to me. The light that you put on things, my love, it's your light only. I rent, and I know whatever we find, whatever we use to cushion our quilt, it will keep me close to you. It will keep us warm enough. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.